I'm Nancy Nixon with uh, the Patterson Library Octagon Gallery. Uh, we're here with Cable Access for Regional Focus. Um, and this is uh, Humanscapes with Susan's show. So this is her first solo show uh, here in Westfield. And we're very excited to have her. Susan's been in the area for 15 years. Um, after uh, growing up here and moving away for running away, yes, uh, 30, <laughs> 15 years, 15 came back years. just That's a right. mere That's child right. That's right. <laughs> to return to her uh, her roots. So we're very pleased. Susan has been in many of my shows here that have been group shows, and uh, her work is incredible. I own now two pieces of hers, so I'm very thrilled to introduce you to uh, Susan. Thank you. These um, paintings are from St. Augustine, Florida, one of our favorite places of my husband and I to go. Um, you get that bright, bright, hard light where the colors just emanate and remind me of the Southwest. So there, there are a couple of them that I've done uh, um, from that area. Uh, done four. One of the other um, shows that the Octagon Gallery had, but really pleased to put them together for this show. Well, friends and family often sit with me, sit for me, whether they know it or not. And this happens to be my, my nephew, Justin, who's playing guitar for this show this evening. And I just thought it was really fitting to uh, include one of my favorite poses of him. Okay, this is one of the uh, new pieces that was uh, created for the show. And there are 22 pieces in the show, 10 new ones. Um, I really like having that uh, kind of encouragement to uh, get my work finished. I'm always doing it, but finishing it is something else. So this was, uh, this was a good time. I do, obviously, figurative work. And um, uh, this one's called um, The Attitude of Sisters. And since I have two, and they uh, are about that age apart, I uh, lived this and thought I'd make it permanent. This other piece uh, appeared in a show earlier. This is Julio. My husband and I spent and spend time in Mexico and this is one of the children that we became friends with. Uh, this is another influence from the Southwest. You'll notice in many of my works very intense color, quite often a lot of white um, this is my blue grandma. Hopefully she's everybody's grandma who uh, pays very in, intent attention to all of your needs and that's kind of how that grew for me. Um, again, the, the Navajo um, jacket and the little western jeans. Uh, you can kind of get the feeling that indeed that's a little cowgirl. Yes, the original is still available. Lupita is another one of my, my children from the colonias of uh, La Paz. Um, very intense children. Very, very interested in what you're doing and what you're saying even though, and, and you communicate even though you don't speak the same language. And when, they're, when their pictures are taken, they're very serious about it. That's a very serious business. This one, uh, entitled Fruits of Her Labor, really came about serendipitously and just in time for this show. Uh, it's a new technique that I hadn't tried, kind of an oil wash, and I must say that she grew herself. A lot of my paintings seem to direct me, and I don't mean to get too ooey about it, but this is a lady who just came through. My family tells me that it looks like my grandmother, and I believe them, it does. And again, the grape jelly, uh, fits right in. There are a lot more works to be viewed at my website, which is susank.net, and mark your calendars for Memorial Day weekend, the Art Trail weekend, and you could go to the website for, uh, to see the whole itinerary and locations, uh, the other artists, at chautauquaarttrail.com.